morning, everyone, and welcome to our Bible sharing this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and protect you always. Today, the church shares with us Mark chapter 16, 9 to 15. In this gospel, in this passage, we read. Now after Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. Not just one, but seven demons. Are demons real? Do the devil does the devil exist? Yes, and a big yes, because it is from the teaching of Jesus. According to the word of our Lord, he saw the devil falling down from heaven like a star. And Jesus, in the four Gospels, many times, chase out the demons from many people that are possessed by them. And he himself confronted the devil directly, face to face, in Matthew chapter 4, and in Luke chapter 4, and in Mark chapter 1, when he was led to desert for 40 days and 40 nights. So they are real. And one of the saints and scholars share that the greatest trick of the devil and his demons in our world today is to make people believe that they do not exist. Most clever trick, most cunning trick to make the modern world people believe that they are just illusion, imaginary creatures. That is very dangerous. They are real. And Mary Magdalene got possessed not just by one of them, but by seven of them. How do we make out about this seven demons things? The clue is in is in uh, Matthew chapter 12 43 to 45 When an impure or unclean spirit comes out of a person it goes through arid and deserted places, seeking rest, and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean, and put in order. And it goes out and finds other seven spirit more evil than itself and they go in and live there and the final condition of that person of that person is worse than before wow sometimes we thought that they come out of our lives already and we are so confident we are not prepared we are not alert and awake. They might come back. More fierce, more dangerous than before. Exactly like what Jesus said. They might return and take with them many others that are even more evil and dangerous. And Mary Magdalene suffered that worst scenario. 
because you are possessed by seven of them. So we need to be uh, always alert, always awake. Because we are not fighting, not fighting with normal humans, normal human beings. But in Ephesians, let us say, for Ephesians, we are fighting and we are dealing with principalities and power of heaven. Clever creatures and evil spirit, they don't need to take rest. They can work 24/7. And we human beings, we are weaker in many ways, especially when we have to take rest. Sleep. We do need to eat. So be alert and be awake. But Jesus chose Mary Magdalene, the one that God possessed by seven demons, to be the first one that He will meet. He would meet after His resurrection. What a privilege! What a wonderful, wonderful story about. She got the privilege to be the first one that Jesus met after his resurrection. Why? Because of her love for Jesus also. In uh, Luke uh, seven, chapter seven, we read she the one who bring out the very expensive alabaster jar of ointment. Washing the feet of Jesus, anoint with that precious ointment, and cleanse it, clean it with her own hair, her own tear. Very, very loving, such a from a repentant person who want to come back to God wholeheartedly, and Jesus praised her. Jesus said about her, "For her sins, though many have been forgiven, because she has shown much love." Very touching and very beautiful uh, the life of Mary Magdalene. She became the first evangelist. First one who bring the good news to others. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. May the Lord bless you and may you have a wonderful weekend.